class. In this video, I'm going to give you a short overview of our course. And it's important to me that you get started on the right foot. So please do take the few minutes to watch this video. I really appreciate your time and attention as you watch the video. And so I'm here in our course. And the first thing that you may see is um, this big picture of our textbook. And so I want you to um, know that the textbook may be purchased in the bookstore and they're actually allowing online orders um, due to the pandemic. Um, this workbook is kind of cool because it allows you to write right into the workbook for you to uh, write your notes right in the workbook and also to do practice problems right in the workbook. So um, I do recommend it. It's it's pretty inexpensive. I believe it's something like $30. Um, however, if you don't want to buy the, the book, then I do have PDFs of all of the book pages included here in our material. So if you have access to being able to print your own PDFs, then you can do that instead. So the book is optional, the actual physical book, because the materials are located here in the classroom and I'll show you where those are located. You will also notice here that I have a image of our calendar to remind you of what's due and I'll show you where you can print that as well and but you should have received that in our welcome email as well or you may have actually already printed it when you went through Canvas. Okay you'll notice that in our um, MOER classroom we have a series of folders and it's important that you click through these folders and see what's here and the first thing is that you have located the start your folder I'm thankful for that because that's how you found this video. So, but I'm going to come back to the start your folder and the very first um, link under the start your fol folder is this welcome to math 081 online and I want would love to for you to read this short um, intro of some of the expectations uh, in our course. And so first thing is that my name is Jackie Fernandez. I'm going to be your instructor and my students do call me Ms. Fernandez and I'm really excited to have you joining us here in Online Math 081 and I have to tell you frankly that you have chosen quite the challenge because we are going to get through 16 weeks worth of material in just five weeks. So one of the first things that I want to uh, warn you about is that you're going to have to be so such a good steward of your time and you're going to have to do a lot of planning um, to try to get 16 weeks worth of material into five weeks that means you're going to probably be doing math almost every single day so you will typically complete about three units each week as you see here and um, I do have another video in the course that tells you how to how you will be navigating these units but typically you will find media lessons videos within the units that you will want to watch and these are the um, media lessons that follow along with that workbook we talked about and so you will watch those and complete your workbook or your notebook and then um, that's going to be acting as your text and your resource so that you then have those notes available when you go in to do your practicing in the online homework. Um, there will also be a test review that you will maybe ask to complete if it's time for a module test. Um, you'll notice that we have four tests in the semester. Um, there are a uh, total of 11 units in the textbook and those are separated into modules of about two to three units a piece and then in each module you have a review and a test so you can see that we're going to be pretty busy okay the course is not self-paced but uh, you do have some late passes if you need to um, extend your homework assignment for three extra days again you're not going to want to get behind in this class because then you will never catch up <laughs> you are allowed to work ahead of schedule and I will can work with you to make anything available ahead of time if you decide to work ahead of schedule. What resources will you need? Well, you will definitely need um, good access to reliable internet uh, and your computer, of course. And um, I find that a headphone is really 
of the best way to listen to those lessons. You will need access to this MOER, which is free, and you will need copies of the media lesson plans, whether you buy the textbook or you uh, copy the PDFs that are here. What am I expecting from you? Well, I expect that you are in your math class several times a week. You want to turn, you want to participate by going into the class several times a week, watching the media lessons, practicing the problems, turning in your homework on time, keeping track of your due date so that you don't miss a due date, reading through your notes, um, checking the announcements to see if anything uh, is due or has changed, asking for help when you need it, whether that be going virtually through our uh, math tutoring center that's offering virtual online tutoring this summer, um, or whether you are uh, messaging me for uh, uh, me to help you. And um, you will see that I will be checking our MOER messaging system frequently to see if I am can be of service. And I just want you to see where that is. Let me go to the student view here. And here where it says messages, you can click there to um, send me a new message. And that will go straight to me. Okay. All right. After you read this Welcome to Math 8 one online page, then I want you to see that there are two assi other assignments that are due um, early in the week. One is the syllabus and calendar of due dates confirmations that state that you have read the syllabus and the calendar of due dates. So I'm going to show you where those are located in case you did not yet print the uh, two documents that were attached to the welcome email. And then also you have a short syllabus quiz uh, that actually ask questions from the syllabus. So you'll want to have your syllabus handy when you go in to take this quiz that is due early in the week. After you finish the start here day one assignments and get those out of the way, these are, are your housekeeping type of assignments that every class has at the beginning of the semester, then I want you to uh, locate the rest of the work that's available for you here. So you'll notice that there is a folder for announcements and you'll want to come and check here um, during the week to see what's due. Kind of, I've got it written here by day. You will see occasionally see additional videos that will help you to navigate through our course. So do take the time to watch those. For example, this one that tells you how to navigate a unit in our course. And um, then there's some information here about textbooks op options, but also very important here in this week one announcement, this whole idea of you keeping an organized detailed no math notebook in which you can actually keep track of your lecture notes when you watch your media lessons, but also when you're in practicing in the homework, you can write down the steps to your math problems. So just write, you know, you can, that'll be like your scratch work, but have it nice and organized because um, there are times when students reach out to me for extra help on a particular homework and at that point I I often will ask them to send me photo of the work they've done so far so that I can see where they've gone wrong and where I might provide some feedback. So you want to keep track of your practice uh, of the work that you're doing as you do your practice homework, your homework assignments here. So you will want to read these announcements each each week. Under that there's a folder for syllabus, calendar, information about me and so on. So I'm going to show you that here again when you click on this link it'll take you to the syllabus which you should have received with your welcome email and you can also click this link to um, download if you want to print another syllabus. The calendar of due dates is also available here, which you saw in the previous home page. And also, again, there's a link here for you to download and print a new calendar that you can have handy by your computer. Instructor information, here's the information about my email and get a hold of me. Now I'm going to be honest with you with this pandemic, I'm doing all of the work from home. So even though you see here an office phone, I am not on campus currently. So your best bet will be to message me through MOER, again clicking on this messages link and sending me a message that goes to me directly and we can communicate through MOER in this way. Okay, uh, late passes, they are easy to redeem and when you go into the navigating uh, a unit in MOER or in Math 081 video, I'll show you where to locate the links for the late passes. 
there is tutoring available yes even during the summer and it is tutor through virtual or online tutoring so click in the links here to find out how you can access the tutoring we have some resources here for students all sorts of resources including financial aid uh, food pantry and so on so this is a to look through um, as it may provide some assistance there is more video help available here through Mr. Souza, who is a Phoenix College professor that has a YouTube channel with tens of thousands of math videos. And so that's a good resource if you need additional resources in addition to the media lesson videos that are included in our course. Next, uh, under that folder, you will see this Math Lounge forum. And this is going to be a good place for you to post questions that the entire class can help you with. So um, again, when you navigate through the, uh, when you watch the video on navigating through a unit, I'm gonna show you how to, how you can go straight from a question on your homework and post to this forum. And that allows me and your classmates, we can help each other by replying and providing hints on homework problems. So that's the Math Lounge. And then the course materials here, this is where that workbook is that you can buy. If you don't decide not to purchase the workbook through the bookstore, then you can actually click in these folders and click directly to get the PDF for the first media lesson. And you see here that there is there is your media lesson and that you can write right into the lesson and follow along as you watch the videos in each unit. There are also practice problems from the workbook here and practice problems answer keys. So if you want more resources from your textbook, they are available here where it says course materials. One more thing I want to talk to you about quickly before before I conclude. And again, there are other short videos throughout the class that I want you to watch, um, one on navigating the, a unit and it, and then one on testing. So you want to make sure you find those. Two things I want to talk to you about. So our final exam, normally this would have been a proctored final, but be, with the pandemic um, for this class, the final exam will be taken online here in MOER. The final exam is going to open on Wednesday, June 24th at noon, and it will close on Thursday at 6 p.m. And you're going to be able to take it at home uh, with no resources other than a formula sheet that's going to be given to you in the test itself and your calculator and paper and pencil no other resources your notes will not be allowed your um, other websites will not be allowed so you want to definitely be working on these reviews and on your homework assignment to the point where you can take this final exam which will be comprehensive with uh, no additional resources and plan that you can take the exam on that day because our class ends on Thursday, June 25th, and there will be no extensions beyond that date. So you have to take your final exam in that window. So it's very important that you plan that, put that in your calendar right now, um, as it is that you put in your calendar all these test dates that you see here. Very important, this class goes by so fast, you do not want to get behind in this class. Okay, and then and the last thing I want to show you here is, is your gradebook that if you click here on the gradebook link that you will see here um, a list of all of our assignments and their due dates are here as well but you will be always at any moment know what your grade is in this class because you will see everything listed here with your grade and down below you will see what your current grade is so everything is should be pretty much here for you to complete our class and after watching this video and as you navigate through the class in this first week if you have any questions please do reach out thanks and have a great semester